What does this have to do with this? For several Southern California cities, it's almost everything. Compton, Bell Gardens, the City of Commerce, and Hawaiian Gardens are among the California cities whose budgets are propped up by tax revenues generated from their local gambling hall. The amount of revenues that are coming from the, from the Commerce Casino is, is in excess of 40%. The casino is, is truly the lifeblood behind our community. It pays for law enforcement, it pays for public safety, it pays for after-school programs. That's why these mayors and city workers have joined their local gambling halls and urging California lawmakers to vote no on a bill that's making its way through the legislature. The pandemic was basically an unfortunate reality of the dependency that we have on the casino. Because once that, you know, that lifeblood shut down, we shut down as a whole. That bill, SB 549, would give competing tribal casinos the right to sue private gambling establishments like the ones that prop up the budgets of Hawaiian Gardens and the City of Commerce. If we lost our California games here again, Hawaiian Gardens, this city could go bankrupt. The state's tribes, however, contend that the games the privately owned gambling halls offer are illegally cutting into the tribe's exclusive rights to host Las Vegas-style gambling in California. This, the tribes say, is taking money that should be going to historically disenfranchised Native American communities around the state. They demand lawmakers give them the right to let a judge settle the gambling dispute for good. If the card rooms are so confident in their position, they should be eager to go to court and prove it. Lawmakers will have to decide which side they are on, tribes or private gambling halls, in the weeks and months ahead. Reporting for Cal Matters, I'm Ryan Savalo.